another video by The Peppy Techie. Thanks for watching. Today is the first of our series on Luma Fusion. And we're going to start right off with how to animate text to make your videos pop. So let's get to it. In the video point, I brought in the words Luma and over here Fusion. So let's go back and show you how you can add text and animate it. And we are going to hit the plus and do an overlay title. And this text is the overlay. We're going to hit edit. And from here, this text, I'm going to, I can double click on it and it will bring up the palette for typing and I'll type Luma and then done in the lower right hand corner. You can choose from a preset of colors or you can save your own. And now I'm going to move this where I want it. I can use my finger to move it and I can change the size of the text here if I want it. I want to keep my text at about 72. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu using the left click in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to roll to about right here and I'm going to add another overlay title. And because you have three tracks for video, you can do this. And right here, I'm going to now double click on this again, or I could also hit the edit button. But we're just going to come here right now and we're going to type fusion. Done. I'm going to move it over here and I'll use this blue for this one. If I wanted to make the edge a little thicker, I can just use the width so it looks similar to the other one and bring this here. If I really like this style of font, I can come up to this plus with a circle and a line under it right here and say, name it, hit the star with the plus, and it will now be under your favorites. Blue with if you have the same thing and someone you don't like, you can click on it and delete it. Now go down to the lower left. This is frame and fit. This is keyframing. So now we are going to keyframe Luma Fusion. And the first thing I'm going to do with is to make sure which one I'm on, I'm going to move it. So right now I'm actually on Fusion. So what I want to do to hide it is I could do two things. I could take it off the screen to start that, or in my case, what I like to do is take the size over on the right hand, this will rotate under rotation, and I take the size to zero. You can then use the position X and Y to move it wherever you want to. I'm going to keyframe that right now at the very beginning. Because I'm on that text for right now, I need to go back to the first text, which is Luma. I'm going to click on it and click the edit. And now I want to keyframe Luma. So I'm going to click the bottom left frame and fit. And the very first thing you want to do is roll to the very beginning and put in your first keyframe. And the same thing is true to this. I'm going to size it and then bring your size down. I could have it come right from my hand, which is kind of a cool thing. Usually move it down until it makes sure it fits perfectly. And that's going to look like it's coming right out of my hand. So that's my first keyframe. As I roll it forward, I say Luma. So right here, I'm going to bring my size right up. to the, And I will move it with my finger to where I want it. So it's going to roll just like that. Looks like it's coming right out of my finger. Now I have to get to Fusion, so I click the upper left to go back to my tracks, click Fusion, which is the top one, and say Edit. So I'm going to hit Keyframe so I can see it. And I'm going to take that positioning. I'm going to make it a little bigger so I can see it. It usually moves somewhere. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring this down in size 
right there on the tip of my finger. I'm going to roll it forward. Looks like that's where I've set fusion. Right there. I'm going to keyframe and then I'm going to bring it up to size. Whatever size you want it. So now as I roll back, it's going to look, ah, we lost, see right here, this one right here, that keyframe moved. So we're going to delete that keyframe by just clicking it, and that will delete it. And now this one is here, so now it's coming right out of this finger. So we're going to go back to the timeline, and we'll watch it from here. So let's roll forward a little bit. Now the other part, and I want to cover is Luma and Fusion should go away at the same time. I want to get these down to about there. Now let's start with a new text here. We're going to go to the plus, do another overlay title. We're going to click on edit. We're going to move this text to right here. Now again, you can make the size big or small as you want to, but about right there is fine. And I'm going to choose just one of my favorites. I'm going to hit frame and fit. And I'm going to start moving it. So it's going to have to move with my hand. So there it is there. I, now I have to go back. Always hit keyframe when you start. So size and position your keyframe at the very beginning. Now I move it to where I want it to go. I'm going to move it up here. And I'm going to move it away from my face. I'm going to roll it forward again over to here. So I'm going to bring it right over my head. You'll notice it moves in a fairly straight line. So if you wanted it to curve more, you might want to create another keyframe a little bit and it will automatically create that keyframe. So as I roll, it automatically created that and now it moves over my head. Now my eyes are over here, so I may want to delete this keyframe by hitting that round circle and move this right where my eyes are. There we go. And now I'm going to move it here so it's right there. And I like to see how it moves. So we'll put it right on my finger. And from here I'm going to move it down here. Now the one thing I didn't add, and I like to kind of do the movement first, so I like to do my movement and bring it here. If you want to, you can add a little rotation. So right here, rotation on the right, you could do this with your finger. I kind of like to use the rotation so I can get a good idea, and then I need to move it here. So now as I move it, it's actually going to curve, come straight across, and now of course, Right here, I'm going to want, I've got two keyframes. So one of them has to go by clicking this. And at this point, what I'm going to do for this one is again, I'm going to use the rotation on the right, add a little rotation to it. This one I might want to put a little bit higher over my head. Boom, boom, boom. Following my eyes right down. To where it's going to straighten out. Now we've got it moving. We're going to move from frame and fit at this point to color and effects. We're going to go over to the little round circle and we're going to give it some action. I'm going to come to one of my favorites, bump, and I'm going to roll back to the beginning. And the minute you hit bump, you get keyframe ability. So I'm going to use this radius and go all the way down to nothing so it's the way it was when it began. And now as I move this here, I'm going to bump it. Now, because this is way out here, so let's move it to the right there. So as I move it, notice it's going to have this movement now. And as I, it automatically keyframed it there, as I move it forward, I want it to continue its bump all the way through. So I'll put this one here. And if you'll notice, it's going to bump all the way through. And then I'm just going to take the radius all the way out. So it's going to sort of bump all the way through the video. Thanks for watching. And I hope you'll comment, like, 
and share and really hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when we make another video. Thank you so much for watching and remember, just get to it.